Hello guys, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakezy.com and welcome in lecture number 6. Today we are going to add or embed our admin panel, our admin LTE panel which we have downloaded and uh, why we need to add admin panel. First of all, why we need to uh, add admin panel because we are going to create our categories and product and uh, uh, like your specs what uh, and we are going to manage our entire website from our admin panel so we have downloaded admin panel that's why first of all why the template because it's hard to create each and everything from scratch so that's why because it's also time consuming uh, so that's why i have downloaded the admin lte panel um, um, whenever you want to work on a specific project or or any project you, you just need to download some templates why you need to create your uh, templates from scratch so you just need to download some templates and just add or embed those template inside your project so we have downloaded a template so here is your template so you can see we have a template sorry e-commerce server where is htdocs and here is your e-commerce assets here is your template so first of all open go to your application controller create a controller name uh, uh, admin for suppose make sure first letter is capital admin i have okay i'm saying extends to ci controller and i'm going to create index method okay so uh, how can you add these files just go copy these files add this uh, okay paste this file now i'm saying uh, go to admin i'm just adding admin directory so it's your job to separate your files or s separate your sections from your other sections for suppose these are the home sections which we have created and now we are going to create a new section which is admin section so we are going to keep our admin files inside our admin directory so i'm going to create admin directory inside my views because i need to separate my admin files from uh, my other files so i'm saying header i'm going to create some files which we have created uh, on our home controller so i'm saying header directory so here is your header directory <laughs> and i'm saying this is my admin home so admin home directory for suppose and i'm saying this is uh, okay so now create your header.php file inside your header section first of all CSS file inside your header section and also just close other files okay we have created two files close your home controller also we have created two files and now I need to create navbar make sure if uh, you can see we have two navigations bar in our dashboard so this is our dashboard so we have two navigation bar which is uh, navbar top and navbar left so that's why i'm saying i have two navigation bar nav top and i'm saying because i'm separating these okay i'm saying nav left because uh, this is a separate section and th this is separate sections i'm separating these um, two sections from each other uh, it's it, it's totally depend upon you how you are coding and your coding style so i'm going to create nav top inside my header files nav top nav left 
okay and uh, i'm going to create home uh, main home or i'm saying this is index index so where we can okay we are creating index file inside our home directory and where is our home directory i'm saying my home directory is available inside my admin directory okay so now i need to create footer file inside my header so here is your header footer file and uh, i need to create html close file so now so here is your html close file we have created one two three four five six seven files in our different uh sections or different folders okay so now close your uh, sorry uh, open your header file so here is your header file and also open your css files remove all code from here i'm saying just a second i'm going to explain each and everything and i'm going to teach how can you add your admin panel or how can you add your template as a, a third party template or a separate template inside your project so now i need to open so this is your admin lt 2.4.2 uh, just open your index files so here is your index files so how can you add these files just you need to copy all of these files okay copy these files all of these files before head close so head head close here i am saying okay i am adding these files inside my header so html start header start make sure i'm not going to close header here or html here okay we have okay so now so where we can close our header i'm going to close my header inside my css section so here is your css sections i'm closing my header inside my css sections so where you can add your uh body or start your body i am just cut this code and i'm going to start this body from nav top because we are loading nav top below the css so hey, where is the navy nav top so here is your nav top so here is your nav top and make sure we have where is the code so here is your body so your wrapper your wrapper starts here make sure you can see your wrapper starts here and your wrapper i think close here so wrapper start here so here is your header sections you can see main header and your main sidebar i am saying we are going to start our wrapper cut this wrapper and we are starting our wrapper inside the body okay so body wrapper and we need to close this wrapper so footer section a side section so here is your wrapper cut this wrapper and close this wrapper at the footer sections make sure at the footer sections we are closing our wrapper inside our footer sections make sure i need to add this header so because this is the header okay so here is your main header so my main header copy this cut this code and i'm i need to add this header at the nav top sections so here is your net nav top sections okay we have added nav top sections Uh, but where is the left navigation bar here is the left navigation bar you can see here is the left navigation bar main sidebar okay so index.html main sidebar okay cut this add this nav left where is nav left here is your nav left 
okay you have added nav left so what about this is your content wrapper so where you can add your content you can add your content inside your index file which you have created inside your home directory so where is your index file here is your index file so this is your home content and where you can add footer i, I need to add this footer this footer inside my footer section so this is your footer sections make sure before this footer sections okay and now uh, this is your sidebar and this is your another sections cut and okay so what about your js files copy all your js files from index index.html because it's a template cut and paste all your jquery file here make sure you have not closed your html body and html and body section cut and where you need to close these file html close so here is where is the html close here is your html close so now you have successfully copied all your code from your index.html template which we have downloaded which we have downloaded and you are breaked your html content into multiple views or multiple parts so go to your uh, admin so now you can see you have uh, your control zero so inspect element because uh, your css and js files are not working so how can you so you need to add because why why these files are not working because uh, we are not we are not using base url so that's why it's not working i'm saying this file is available where just a second i'm saying this file is available at assets on assets and admin lte make sure rename this this is the long name just rename this files i'm saying this is admin okay i'm saying this file is available at admin okay so now you can see we have added one css file so copy this sections again 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 because we are going to add all of these css files okay so these are cdns so you need to add this okay Just a second i'm going to explain what's going on uh, and now you can see we have added uh, go to your admin open your inspect element console section you can see you have 60 missing files so now refresh the page now you can see your css files are working fine now but what about your js files because you have added your css files your css files inside your head section go to your footer sections now what you need you need to add your base url so here is your base url we are adding our base url just a second i'm going to explain what's go going on okay copy these sections i'm saying okay
now go to your home uh, admin sections and you can see you have 40 missing files refresh the page now you can see you have just three missing file which is your jpeg file jpeg images so uh, because uh, we need we need to add base url inside our jpeg images so you have you have successfully embedded your admin lte template inside your admin controller so uh, how can you add how can you remove these also these um, images so go to your make sure nav top and open this and find some images so these are images and add your uh, base url because so here is your base url base url for suppose and i'm saying please collect this images from this directory okay so now go to admin section refresh the page okay you can see okay uh, img dist image just a second i'm going to explain what's going on where is the index.php file or oh, index.html file is here okay just a second control f5 okay um, it's images issues we are going to solve these uh, issues uh, go to your uh, nav left open your file you can see you have two images here also here i'm saying please collect these images from this directory fresh okay now one image is working fine but these are images i think these images are not available inside this directory so that's why it's not working so you have successfully added or embedded your html uh, template or your template or your admin template inside your admin so in the next lecture we are going to create our uh, admin database uh, make sure we are going to create our database then admin table and we are going to add our login panel for uh, for our site admin so for now i am shahzad ahmed from shakzi.com thank you for watching